Have you ever heard someone tell a lie and you thought to yourself, now why would that person lie about that? All they had to do was tell the truth. That wasn't even nothing to lie about. Well, in today's video, we are going to talk about the different types of lies and the uncommon reasons why people use them. Everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Keandra Jackson Show. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. And we have an anonymous question that came in today on this very topic. And look, we're going to get into it on a segment that I love to call Dear Keandra. The anonymous question goes, I know this may be a little old, but I am stuck on Carly Russell lying about being abducted and all of the details surrounding that. I cannot wrap my head around why someone would lie and have the whole nation looking for her for no good reason. What causes someone to lie about that or is this just pure mental illness? Woo, we are about to get into that for real because I definitely have some thoughts surrounding this. But if you have any burning questions that you want answered, feel free to send an email over to info at keandrajackson.com and your question may appear on the show. So to be honest with you, I have intentionally stayed away from the Carly Russell situation. I know it's a little older now and it isn't necessarily a hot or trending topic anymore, but I chose not to speak on it because I was so frustrated and I had to unpack my own personal emotions before I created a video from a professional perspective and sharing my opinion about that. And because I was so angry and I always tell y'all that, you know, anger is what we call a secondary emotion, meaning there's always something underneath that anger that you have to unpack because you're never angry just to be angry, right? So I was feeling sad, I was mad, I was embarrassed, I was ashamed, I was all of the things. And so I chose not to speak on it. So I'm glad this question came through specifically on this topic because it is a form of lying and there are different types of lies out there. But from what I've seen and the work that I've done in this field, I've seen about five different lies that people tend to tell. And I know there's some of y'all that are watching this and like, a lie is a lie, it don't matter what type of lie, when it's said, how it's said, what a what a what a. I understand that. I absolutely get that. But there are different types of lies. And I think that you should be aware of them because when somebody try to lie to you, or let's be real, when you lie, because you're not perfect and you're human, you want to make sure you know what's going on. So I'm gonna break down these five different lies, but I'm also gonna give you some common reasons why people use them. So let's get into the first one. The first one is what we would call a white lie. This is those lies that you think aren't that really a big deal. Like if your wife or your girlfriend says, does this look good on me? And you're like, sure, yeah, you look beautiful, babe. Like. Yeah, you look amazing knowing daggone well <laughs> that you don't like the outfit and she looking ugly and raggedy and busted and disgusted in it. That's a little teeny tiny what people would call a white lie. The other type of lie, the second one is called a lie by omission. This is what I see a lot of people do and they don't think it's a lie. A lie by omission basically means you're not telling the full truth. So you leave bits and pieces of the story out thinking that nobody's gonna care, that it's not a big deal. And so you don't tell the full truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you God. You just leave bits and pieces out. And people do this all the time. And they're like, well, technically I didn't lie. I just withheld information. No, that's still a form of lying. The third type of lie is an exaggeration. And I think this is what the Carly Russell chick Definitely did because you exaggerated to the whole nation girl and had the whole world looking for you. And I don't think you realized that people were going to come for you. People were going to come to your rescue, that it was going to get as big as it did. And when you realized that, you know, this was a huge thing, I think she was shocked. She was shook it. Nevertheless, exaggeration is when you tell a lie and you make things bigger than what it actually is. That means you add extra sauce on it. You put a little stank on it, as we say. Like, you just do team too much. You turn something that was small, that was innocent, that probably wasn't even a big deal, to be honest with you. And now it's big and blown out of proportion. You add all of these extra details to it. You put people involved in babies involved into the conversation when you know doggone well that none of those things happen, that's a form of a lie. 
Then on the flip side, the next one, you have minimization. Minimization is when there is something that is big, huge, that's happening in your life and you lie about it to dumb it down, to bring it down to some little teeny tiny bits and pieces to make it seem like it wasn't a big deal. Okay. Like you cheated on your wife, right? And that's a huge, massive deal, right? Because you lied about it. It's impacting your family, your kids, all of those things. And you just like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. You know, I just did it one time. We just kissed and we just held. It wasn't that. Yeah, yeah. It was a big deal. <laughs> so minimization is making something that is huge and big into something that is small. And then last but not least, people don't realize this one, but this is a huge form of lying. And that is broken promises. Now on my channel here, we talk a lot about excellence and integrity. Y'all know those are my two words that I do not play about. I try my best to do everything with excellence and integrity. If I can't do it in those two capacities, purposely choose not to do certain things. And so broken promises is exactly what it's saying. It's saying that you promised that you would do something, that you would show up, that you would pay for something, that you would be there, that you would whatever, fill in the blank. And then you didn't do that. You went back on your word. You did not operate and integrity because integrity is what doing what you say you're gonna do when you say you're gonna do it how you say you're gonna do it all of those things so broken promises essentially falls under the umbrella of a lie so when it comes to lying or liars i mean we've all done it like i don't know one person on the face of this planet not even mother Teresa. okay we all tell lies at some point whether it's that white lie exaggeration minimization broken promises lie by omission whatever we've all done it in some capacity but i do think that there's different types of liars, right? You got people who might lie like a one-off situation, like not to say that that's okay, but then you also have people who will fall on the pathological liar or a compulsive liar. You know that that is two different extremes and this is not okay. I mean, this one ain't either, but you get what I'm saying. So let's talk about the five different uncommon reasons why people lie. We know people lie to protect people. We know people lie, you know, to get food stamps. We know people lie to get a job. We know people lie for various different reasons. And I swear to y'all, I am not here to judge, but I just want to break this down so you guys have a deeper, clearer understanding of what needs to be done. Because I know that there's people who do tell lies because of their financial or economic situation. And they're doing that to get the assistance that they need. So so needless to say, I'm just going to break these five down for you and you do with it as you will. The, the first one is called altruistic deception. This is basically when you are telling a lie to protect someone else's well-being or their safety. And to give you an example of this, say for instance, you have a terminally ill family member, right? And you don't go and tell the rest of your family members or the rest of your friends how bad the terminal illness is because you want to protect your family, you want to protect the people and not cause any additional emotional distress to your family or to any of the parties involved because we know death can be a very, you know, traumatic situation sometimes. That's the quick and dirty version of like an altruistic deception. So you're basically doing it, you kind of have good intentions, on the inside, you kind of are like, okay, I'm doing this for a good reason, but nevertheless, you're still deceiving people because you're lying and you're not telling the full truth. The second uncommon reason why people lie is because it's all about impression management. So essentially, especially with us being in this social media era, it is all about people monitoring their professional and their personal perception and how people may or may not view them. So essentially, this is when somebody might embellish a little bit about their skills or their background, their knowledge, their expertise. They may not really have what they got going on, but then they put that sauce on there. Like I said, they put the little extra on there. It's like, girl, you know you did not go to Harvard University, okay? Quit lying. <laughs> so they basically embellish their skill sets, they embellish their accomplishments and things of that nature to appear to look better to other people, to appear that you got it all together and that you are doing well professionally or even personally. So essentially, these people just want to feel more successful and desirable to other people for other reasons and to build those relationships that they may or may not have earned. The third uncommon reason why people lie is to avoid awkward social situations. We all had situations where there was an event 
<laughs> a baby shower, a wedding, hanging out with the homegirls, family event, whatever the case, a business event. And you may have wanted to go initially, but then you change your mind and you don't feel like going. This is for the introverts and the ambiverts like me. You might pretend to have some type of engagement at that particular day and time and say, oh, I thought my schedule was available, but now I realize that at the same day and time, I had another event that I needed to go to so I can't go to yours. But in all actuality, you sitting at home eating ice cream on your couch, binge watching Netflix because you really didn't want to go to the event, right? So this is basically people lie to avoid awkward situations. And I know that this is a very common one because baby, sometimes we just don't want to go and we don't want to hurt people's feelings of why we don't want to go or we may have told them that we would and now we feel like we're going back on our word. So this is another reason why people lie to avoid awkward social situation. Number four, I don't know if this is an uncommon reason, but this is a definitely, especially with Carly Russell, okay? People lie to seek sympathy and attention. Y yeah, okay, so, I mean, I don't really have to say too much about this one, but definitely people in these types of liars like to fabricate stories, they like to put extras on it to get sympathy and empathy from other people. They try to embellish their misfortunes and, you know, the maybe the negative things that happen to them. They put extras on it. I know I've been saying that a lot throughout this video, but basically that's what lying is. Like, people be putting extras on stuff. They be putting dubs on it, like we say in the hood. Essentially, these people just want some type of emotional validation. They want to connect with people. They want to receive support. They just don't necessarily know how to go about it in the most healthiest, non-lying manner. So essentially, these people want to get the attention. They want to get the sympathy. They want all of those things. And then when they do get it, I'm not sure what they do with it, but I do know that it probably serves some type of internal validation or satisfaction. And that may be cool, but the people on the outside who they have lied to and manipulated it's gonna fall back on them and it's definitely gonna interrupt their relationship. And last but not least, the fifth uncommon reason that people lie is from self-protection from judgment. These types of liars, and we've all been there, myself included, nobody wants to be judged. Nobody wants to be judged. To avoid the negative comments, to avoid people saying things about you, receiving constructive criticism or, or criticism at all, negativity or any of those things, you basically just lie. And to be honest, it can be from a genuine place. Like you're trying to not give so much details about past mistakes, or you're talking about a sensitive topic, or you're sharing something personal, things of that nature. Because when you do start to open up about the realness of the things that happen in this world, in your life, your community, with your family, all of those things, you absolutely open yourself up to judgment and you can never control how other people respond and how they feel about what you're sharing. And so sometimes it might be received well from certain people and you might get that support, that love, all of the things you need. And then other times you're going to get negativity, criticism, judgment, your business going to be in the street. It's just going to be an ugly situation. So essentially these people fear the repercussions of being honest and they opt to being deceptive and they opt to being, you know, not fully telling the truth. And that right there is a problem because once you start telling lies, <laughs> It's hard to come back from it. So as we are wrapping up my final thoughts on this episode, because it's a wrap, I wanted to give you guys my final thoughts and just remind you to tell the truth. We all know that if you tell a lie to cover something up, you have to tell another lie to cover that up. You got to tell another lie after that to cover that one up. And you got to tell another lie after that to cover up the, all the previous ones. That is not okay. And that is not healthy. And also nine times out of 10, you probably going to get caught, get busted. Somebody going to call you out and then it's going to be a bigger issue to deal with. So why not just be honest? truthful and tell the truth from the beginning. Honesty is a core value of mine that I value on a very high level. I enjoy, thoroughly love people who are truthful and who are honest with me, even if it hurts my feelings, even if it's unfavorable, even if they say something I don't like, or I'm crying or whatever the case may be, I'm gonna be in my feels for a little while, but at the same time, I'm always going to respect them because it's gonna be like, okay, they could have lied to me. Okay, they could have said something else. 
but they were brutally honest and I value that on a very intimate level. So people who lie, especially if you're a chronic liar, especially if you're a compulsive pathological liar, or you're just lying about dumb stuff that don't need to be lied about, I can honestly tell you that is going to put a rip in any type of relationship, whether that's friends, families, coworkers, businesses, whatever. The goal is to operate in as much integrity as possible, which also means you need to tell the truth. You need to be honest. You need to be trusting and trustworthy to be able to maintain whatever relationship you have going on in your life. And as I mentioned before, there's going to be so many people watching this and they're like, I had to lie to my baby daddy. I had to lie to get government assistance. I had to lie because nobody was help. I had had to lie to get this job because I had to feed my I completely understand. I don't want this video to come off as judgment at all because I know that there are economical societal situations where people just need to do what they need to do to survive literally. And I understand that you know, whatever you are, wherever you are, that lying might get you to that next goal. But I'm not here to promote that. I really want honesty and trust and to help you realize that this is so important. This trust and being honest is a character trait that you want to embody and to withhold. And dishonesty, telling lies, whether that's exaggeration, minimization, I'm, all of the ones we talked about, it isn't the best thing to do. So if I were you, I would err on the side of telling the truth because it always goes better that way. So thank you so much for watching another episode of the Keandra Jackson Show, and I will see you next time. Bye.